So today we are going to be taking a look at a video that really every division fan, whether they're playing Division One, Division Two, should really take a look and look at this engine that really made Division all possible. And I saw a little snippet of this, and I was like, "Hold on, hold on." Anytime I get a video that I can react to and watch with you guys for the first time, I'm all about it. So that's why I do these videos. I think it's really cool to really experience this with you guys. And for all of you guys who are watching it for the first time, experience it with me. So if you guys enjoy these videos, the best thing you guys can do is leave a thumbs up. Hopefully you guys enjoy the, the quality of the camera. We definitely upgrade it and I'm still working some tweaks because I am having some issues, but hopefully we can get this all taken care of and hopefully get these streams back rolling. So let's get into the video. Peggy 18. Powered by Snowdrop. Massive Entertainment, Ubisoft Studio. Man, this view right here. The Snowdrop engine was specially developed to create Nothing the deep like and there. vast universe of Tom Clancy's The Division. That sound, do you hear that? Never before has a video game reached this level of detail. True next gen engine snowdrop show showcase. This chaotic and decayed New York City is enhanced by a dynamic day night cycle. The rendering engine supports volumetric lighting to add atmosphere throughout the environment. As in film production, snowdrop uses a light probe system that captures lighting realistically in both outdoor and indoor scenes. As I pull. To enhance immersion, surfaces react with unprecedented physical accuracy. I already, I always love that about the division. Snowdrop's powerful particle system reacts dynamically to a vast range of environmental factors, including light. Oh, By harnessing cool. next-gen technology, Snowdrop's shader system allows the world to react to the constantly changing weather. Imagine this game on next-gen consoles. Like, possibilities endless. We live in a fragile world. The Snowdrop engine makes this world a reality. Be prepared to enter the next generation of gaming. Well, that's pretty hype right there. The music. That's actually pretty cool. There's actually a video that goes along with this one, so we're going to actually take a look at that one real quick. And it's right here. I actually have it set up already. We're going to watch it right now. And this one, they go a little bit more in detail on the Snowdrop engine. Peggy 18. And um, everything that this, this engine has to offer and why it's such a cool next-gen engine. Massive Entertainment, Ubisoft Studio. We wanted to create an engine that was capable of creating truly next generation of AAA games. But we also saw that as games were getting bigger, so were the projects working on them. And we wanted to go better, not bigger. And we all wanted to be smart and not rely on brute force. Empowering the content creators. The engine should also support how we work in the studio, which is a lot of quick iterations on features, and have a lot of creativity and the freedom to experiment and prototype. The core of the Snowdrop engine is a node-based scripting system. This is really the beating heart of the engine that allows us to do what we do. It affects all systems of the engine, from rendering to AI to mission scripting and the UI. 
It allows us to quickly develop our assets and to preview them and interact with them in ways that have never been done before in the industry. It's so easy to use and to set up that you really have the freedom and the time to explore different options. The editor is basically just a set of different windows that you can move around whatever you want. And if you work in a specific way, you can adjust the editor to fit your needs. Working with the engine is kind of like solving a puzzle. Because the components are usually already there, it's just a matter of how you combine them together. You can do whatever you want. It's basically it's like Lego, because it's just different building blocks and you can test, does this fit here, more or less? You can make some really cool results just by very simple components. That's I pretty cool. I really enjoy to work with it. At Massive, I would call our work style a form of hectic fun. We're very busy all the time and we, we like to use our talents to really uh, try to make the best product that we can. All right, the store was empty. I heard that gunfire. There's always that chance of somebody's eyes glazing over and they realizing, but what if we do this? And th that person runs out and comes back with this fantastic idea that somebody hasn't tried before. We're really creating something new and unique together. With this power and with the usability in the tool, we saw that people really excelled in what they created. We got amazing graphics, we got new features, and we got unique innovations that we didn't expect, but that really pushed Endian forward. And all this was thanks to the foundation that the engine and the tools supplied. You guys saw that um, Between the philosophy take of our company and the power of our technology, what we've achieved is to empower our artists to really achieve levels of quality never before seen. That's actually pretty cool, guys. I. So the Snowdrop engine is probably one of my, um, I, I think it's one of my favorite engines to, to game on, to be honest. I think, I think the, the possibilities for that, for next gen, I felt like it was always held back because of... I am here to tell you guys that the on, best webcam is the only... So I always felt like the old systems, like the PlayStation 4, the Xbox, that really held back the Snowdrop engine. And I think... Once Ubisoft Massive, once Ubisoft as a whole stops creating games for last gen consoles, that's where everything's going to change. And that's where we will truly see the potential of Snowdrop Engine. So for the division really to, to take it to that next level, they really have to stop, in my opinion, stop catering to old gens. They, they finally have to make that next step to be like, all right, you know what? The next, if whatever the next game is, PlayStation 5. Xbox Series S and X, PC, and that's it, man. That's how they have to do it. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. Thank you guys again for all the support. If you guys enjoy videos like this, if you enjoy learning more about the division, this channel has been doing it for you. So leave a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.